In July, Australians went to the polls to decide who would be Prime Minister for the next five minutes or so. <laughs> Malcolm Turnbull, the newly crowned beacon of hope for a unified Australia, took the opportunity to lay out his vision for the future. The ABCC will be a trigger for a double dissolution election. And what that means is that when we go to the election, the Australian people will decide whether there should be an Australian Building and Construction Commission. Oh, so inspirational. <laughs> ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for an extrajudicial commission to regulate and oversee the construction industry. <laughs> for his thoughts, let's fire up the satellite and cross to Indigenous Australian. Welcome back, Adam Briggs. <laughs> Hang on. Um, sorry, Briggsy. Briggsy, which part of Australia are you in? Charlie, I'm in LA. Or as I call it, very far north Queensland. <laughs> right, did you uh, have any trouble getting into the States? Let's just say the welcome to country is extremely thorough. <laughs> <laughs> well, well Briggsy, what did you make of the Aussie election? That depends, Charlie. Did the new parliament pass the ABCC bill? Uh, yeah, they did, with the support of uh, Pauline Hanson, Darren Hinch and David Lionhelm. The dream team! <laughs> well, then it's all worth it. Housing affordability, climate change, decent health care, none of that matters. All I cared about was the ABCC. It's so important what they do. And they continue to do whatever it is they do. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Briggsy, what did you make of Turnbull's campaign? Well, it was great to finally have a coalition leader thinking of the regular man by promising to give big companies a tax cut, which surprised a lot of big companies. Like, hey, we're paying taxes? We've got to fix that. <laughs> and uh, what did you make of Bill Shorten's performance? Performance? I see more personality in a day-old loaf of bread. <laughs> Although, he has done more to bridge the racial divide than any leader in recent memory. Wait, wait, wait. He hasn't, he hasn't been Prime Minister. He hasn't passed any legislation. Yeah, but blackfellas and whitefellas find him equally uninspiring. He's like <laughs> John Lennon of boring. Well, there must have been something that got you fired up about the election, Briggsy. What about Pauline Hanson getting in the Senate? She has called for a debate on the definition of Aboriginal. Hey, Pauline's a bloody role model. She could qualify as Aboriginal. What, really? Well, she's been wrongfully imprisoned, and that's pretty Aboriginal. <laughs> We will see you in 2017. Probably. <laughs> Thank you, Briggsy.